Hi, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about a very important issue. The discovery of a 111 egg Burmese python nest in Florida. As you may know, Burmese pythons are an invasive species in Florida. They were originally brought into the state as exotic pets, but many of them were released into the wild when their owners no longer wanted them. Burmese pythons are now thriving in the Everglades, and they are having a devastating impact on the local ecosystem. The discovery of this 111 egg nest is a major wake-up call for the state of Florida. It shows just how big of a problem Burmese python have become. If I don't take action now, these snakes could wipe out the native wildlife in the Everglades. Let's take a closer look at the impact that Burmese pythons are having on the Everglades. They are preying on native wildlife. Burmese pythons are apex predators, which means that they are at the top of the food chain. This means that they have no natural predators in the Everglades. As a result, they are able to prey on a wide variety of native wildlife, including mammals, birds, and even alligators. They are releasing waste into the ecosystem. Burmese pythons produce a lot of waste, which can pollute the water and make it unsafe for other animals to drink. This can have a cascading effect on the ecosystem, as other animals may be forced to move away from areas that have been polluted by python waste. They are taking up space in the Everglades. Burmese pythons are large snakes, and they can grow to be up to 20 feet long. This means that they take up a lot of space in the Everglades. As a result, there is less space for other animals to live, which can lead to further declines in the population of native wildlife. The discovery of this 111 egg nest is a serious problem. People out there need to take action now to prevent the pythons from wreaking havoc on the Everglades. There are a few things to eliminate the danger. First, support organizations that are working to remove pythons from the Everglades. Second, educate people about the dangers of releasing exotic pets into the wild. Finally, make sure that everyone is not contributing to the problem by buying or selling exotic pets. If all work together, it is possible to protect the Everglades and the native wildlife that call it home. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.